hey guys welcome back to the channel hope you guys are doing well in today's video we are gonna be looking at a player a player that i is very close to my heart actually i uh, highland has been playing for manchester united for a few days now he has been starting for a few games now he has been injured for a couple of games recently but when he comes back i hope he continues his world scoring form now he has got his player of the month card right here so this is the card that we're going to be reviewing in today's video so make sure you guys watch the whole video and if you guys are confused whether to get him or not make sure you guys stick till the end and you will get to know maybe if he's good or if he's not good i am going to completely show you guys all his attributes his play styles his uh, details everything we'll put him in a team and then we'll play uh, one or two games and then we'll see how his stats are how true it is to the card and how his play, uh, maybe if we add some player chemistry style will it change will it uh, increase his stats or not we'll just have a look at all that things but without any further ado make sure you guys go check out the channel a lot of videos like this are there a lot of pack openings a lot of player reviews a lot of food draft videos are also on the way so make sure you guys go check out the channel so that you guys keep getting insane content fun chill amazing content like this now let us get into this card so first off let us look at his attributes which is his stats basically he has 93 pace the three main things that you have to look for a striker look in for a striker is first one how good is his shooting second one how good is his dribbling and third one is optional basically whether he has good pace or not because i don't know how many of you guys uh what kind of play style you guys are into so i love uh, when strikers have good pace in them so 93 pace with 88 shooting and 86 dribbling for an 88 rated striker i am totally uh pro highland player of the month card because i thought actually he'll get like an 88 i mean 89 rated card but 88 is fair uh he has 93 pace with 92 and 93 uh, acceleration and sprint speed and his shooting is actually not bad he has 92 finishing with 91 shot par uh, penalties yeah i've not seen him take penalties or i've not seen him take long shots because he's always there in the box most of the times and he he makes good runs for the team as well and he keeps passing the ball around so hence you see the passing he has 89 passing if you look at the passing column so i feel like that these three stats so far we've seen is actually pretty on point you know and then if you look at dribbling he has 88 ball control and 87 dribbling i think that if you see him in game i think 87 dribbling is fair which is actually pretty precise because uh, he does lose a ball he makes that extra touch sometimes and then he just loses the ball so ball control and dribbling i think fair enough 88 and 87 not bad stats uh heading accuracy 98 that is actually pretty good and he has 96 jumping with 89 stamina which is also not bad uh now he can be played at center forward and striker we all know he plays for manchester united and then he has four star skill move four star weak foot his preferred foot is left a uh, left foot striker not bad not bad now the play styles he has two play style pluses we'll just have a look at that he has a quick step which accelerates significantly faster during explosive sprints so he gets that good acceleration when you try to you know counter attack and stuff and this is aerial plus so he performs even higher jumps and has greatly improved aerial physical presence that is kind of decent and ball control he has flare and rapid and passing has pinched pass passes travel faster along the ground without impacting the trapping difficulty of a receiver okay that is interesting and scoring he has power shot and he has power header that is actually very helpful because i try to use power shot a lot nowadays and i think that is actually pretty decent now what i'll do is i'll finish the spc i'll go put him in the team and we'll play either one squad battle i'll put it in world class difficulty and we'll just play like five minutes and then we'll see how he actually is whether he's good at counter attacking whether he's good at taking the ball whether he has good ball control and all that stuff now let me just finish the sbc okay so to complete this card you need to complete one squad build only one squad build it is very actually it is pretty worth it i would say uh, you have to put in a premier league player you have to put in a team of the week player and you need to have an 86 rated squad chemistry doesn't matter as usual so i think that is pretty decent so this is the these are the people i'm gonna put in and we will get the card 
now i'll show you guys the team that i've been using the team that i've been experimenting actually which is not my main squad uh, i've been trying out different formations because i get bored of my actual formation that i'm in love with which is 433 attack so i just keep trying out different formations now this is my first ever player of the month card i have not got any other player of the month cards so hopefully this is a good one hopefully this was a good decision now okay this is not the team that i used let me just change my squad i have a couple of squad that i keep playing with i think i don't know is this the squad yeah i think this is the squad let me know in the comment section if you guys have already got rasmus and if you guys have played with him and how did you guys find uh his card is now we are gonna find out together but apart from this how did you guys find out this card was he has he's good with left foot is it i think we'll put him at right put him as a right striker why not and you know what i am not gonna put any play style i'm not gonna put any chemistry style on him i'll let you guys know if he's good with the chemistry style in, in the later videos because i need to i need to get more time and We'll see how it goes now i let you i let you guys know how he is at uh left center also i mean left striker if i use him at left striker how he might be in left striker as well because like i told i mean his dribbling is not bad i could have done better there i'm just bad at the game <laughs> so i think his dribbling is not bad and his, his play style keeps popping up over there so I, let's just play let's just play and see he is actually good at dribbling the ball. Now when it comes to ball control, we have not seen that just yet. He is really good at dribbling the ball. And his passing is actually not bad. He is passing, he has 89 short pass, remember that. So if you guys uh, look him, uh, lurk around center midfield and you have another striker who is actually in front when you are attacking, you can actually give him a decent pass with him. 89 short pass is not a joke and he's actually doing well with the passes now is he good with heading we have to uh, try to somehow get a shot on target and the goalie saves it oh my god what a good dribbling actually that is a, that was actually not bad so you can dribble a bit good with him now the thing is for me i have i have uh, my second thoughts right now because i am not using any chemistry style and i'm used to a lot of chemistry style play anybody with chemistry style now he was able to dribble past two people when he was being pressed and he got a good shot on him with his uh, actually preferred foot and since he is a right striker i feel like when he's going from that angle you'll be able to get a good shot out of him because he is shooting with his strong foot uh but yeah i think i think overall for what you're gonna put in you get a good card out of i mean you get a good card out of it because you literally have to put just what team of the week an 86 rated squad with a premier league player in it and i don't think that is too much and even you can get him as fodder if you have some cards lying around uh i don't think this is a bad card you know i let you guys know how he is with uh the play styles because as of now, I think he is decent. Now, it depends on how you play as well, isn't it? Now, this might this is my gameplay and this is my my views on how the card is. I think he is good. I, I, I wouldn't say he is bad. Uh, but make sure you guys, if you are still uh, on a question mark of how he might be, make sure you guys watch more reviews. Uh, he is actually not bad. He is able to get the ball back as well and he can perform decent passes as pass on the other hand is a beaut this fantasy fc card oh my god i don't even know if i should do a review on this card this card is too good but on rasmus hoyland uh, i think the final verdict would be he's a decent card uh, you can go for him i would suggest if you have enough 86 rated players uh, uh, lying in your squad and you have a spare team of the week player lying in your squad Go for him. He, he could be good fodder. I mean, you are going to be getting decent cards coming out soon. Uh, so, yeah, I think it's a bit good, good card to do. So, make sure you guys go check it out. And make sure you guys check out the channel as well. It's been Fringe. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next video. In the next uh, pack opening or player review or a foot draft. 
or even a new series is going to be starting in FC Mobile. So I hope you guys are excited about that. Uh, it is going to be around a really good player and he is getting good cards. So I hope you guys enjoy the video series. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, take care. Stay safe, stay motivated and keep smiling. Bye-bye.